Hey there guys, it is Abridge Goku, that's right, your Muffin King, and I'm back with another video. Oh, still doing this sick. <laughs> but uh, yeah, um, today we're going to be doing a tier list. Uh, this is a tier list that I'm going to be compiling of some of the people that I've worked with over the last four years. I've been kind of juggling on how I was going to tackle this, so I thought this would be one of the best ways to do it. Um, as you can see from my tier list, ranking from family, best friend, inner circle, friend, acquaintance, indifference, people I don't care for, and garbage. And basically, she's going to be ranking the people who I've worked with over the last four years. There's a lot of people I missed, probably, because I've worked with a lot of people. I've had the privilege of working with a lot of people over the course of four years. But some of them either had their channels deleted or they stopped doing YouTube stuff. They've transitioned and moved on to other things or they just outright don't have a YouTube. So I couldn't put them on the list. So I just condensed it to uh, people I've worked with. I've had experiences with. I've talked to just things like that. And yeah, um, <laughs> about to expose myself all right so this is gonna be fun let's uh look down and see what we got um i think i can just like 30 people 30 people who i've had the privilege of talking to meeting and yeah overall these are uh, the people i'll be ranking so uh yeah let's just uh start um the first person we have is uh lady zamasu um lady zamasu uh I had been watching, I think since early 2017, maybe 2016, probably 2017, was a huge fan of Lady Zamasu and always enjoyed her content. Um, and coincidentally, I met her through uh, Justin or the Bardock channel, and uh, we've been friends ever since. We've been really close. Someone I definitely consider very high tier when it comes to my friends list, uh, as far as where I'd rank her best friend in a circle uh she's kind of let's see um uh let's go best friend yeah right uh right there in the best friend list yeah i think that's where she uh, ranks uh she ranks pretty highly um she's always been a close confidant and good friend so yeah uh best friends where she's uh she's suited next up we have 13 blitzful i met her a couple of years ago through um through uh gur and koi and cl and um she was always been cool to me and we got closer over the years and uh she's very positive very strong will very independent and she's always just been a generally cool person um, as the years go by, we've gotten a lot closer, so I would consider her more in that inner circle. Yeah, she's part of more of my inner circle of friends, people who I just hang out with on a regular basis, people who I just talk to on a regular basis, so she's kind of in that tier, um, very close. And yeah, I really enjoy um, being friends with 13 Blissful. Next up, we have Radio Has Been. Um, Another person who I met when I was like very, when I was just starting out doing the whole Goku thing. Fun fact, she was the most um, accepting in terms of like when I met Koi, CL, they were all, you know, cautious. They liked me, like Gurr, CL, Koi, they liked me, but they were all, you know, they didn't really know me. But uh, Radio Has Been was the first one to actually like really took a liking to me for whatever reason. So. That alone already uh, put her higher on my list. And then over the years, I've gotten to know her. She's a huge pain in my ass at times. But that's, you know, that's that's part of the thing is that's what I like about her. She's a uh, very independent, very strong willed. And that's what I appreciate about her. Very hard working. So, yeah, I, I would put, um, oh, I almost got JP. Um, I would put her right in the best friend list. She's, uh, yeah, she's uh, up there for me. Next up, we got <laughs> the man, the myth, the legend himself, Synetic. <laughs> I just can't. Oh, uh, with Synetic, like I said, it started out with him just, um, I guess he became a fan of mine. I was a fan of his. You guys know how I used to react, or I'm still reacting to his content. I reacted to him doing work for SSJ9K, and I thought Synetic is just a fantastic uh, animator. 
Um, I'm actually a little upset that I have to just put him at a friend. That's where I'm comfortable putting him. And this is only because me and Synetic, we like work, we're really cool with each other. Like I like Synetic, um, but we don't talk um, as much as people think. Um, we just kind of, we just kind of bump into each other every now and then and we say what's up. We have some conversations. We uh, message from time to time if we want to work together. Kind of in that category. I wish we could have done more. Um, I, I just think we need to chat more often, but he's busy, I'm busy. We're kind of in that loop where time constraints are kind of limiting our interactions. So we haven't really grown much beyond that. So I kind of put him in that uh, friends tier, very high uh, friend tier. There you go. Uh, next up we have Hasman Madness, who I met through Radio Hasman. Um, yeah, cool dude, cool dude. Um, I just got done working with him. Uh, uh, yeah, he's a cool dude. Um, I always enjoyed um, talking to him. He's, uh, he's done a lot uh, in terms of uh, helping me out and giving me some pointers when it comes to some of this Hasman stuff. And uh, introducing me to other... Um, VAs that could help me out and ooh, he's much like Blitzful he's in that inner circle people I talk to on a regular basis uh, from time to time just overall a cool dude so I would put him in the uh, inner circle right there that's where I feel comfortable with Next up, we have Corey. You guys might know him as Angel Dust or Alistair from the uh, Has Been Would You Rather series. Again, um, Corey is absolutely amazing. He's a, I just want to say he's an amazing talent. I always enjoy working with this guy. He is funny AF and overall just really cool to be around. Um, I would say he's He's he kind of tethers in between friend and inner circle at times. Like me and Corey, I talk to him uh, whenever I can. Um, it it kind of puts me. <laughs> it's kind of hard to rank Corey sometimes. Like I said, he's kind of in that synetic um, kind of s. But I've talked to him a lot more than synetic. So I would say uh, inner circle, maybe friend. Uh, I tether. I tether between because, like I said, I've worked with Corey more. Uh, yeah, that's a tough one. Um, that is a tough one. We'll just put him in inner circle. Um, I do. T I think I talked to him enough. I think I talked to Corey just enough to put him in that like low, low inner circle tier. But yeah, just enough. Next up, we have the, the redhead booby droid. Um, <laughs> Maja Android Twenty One. Ah. Uh, yeah, she's definitely um, someone I grew, clo I got close to over the years. Um, basically, I wanted to work with her. I reached out to her, and she responded. It's kind of how it, how it happened. Like I just reached out, and she responded, and we worked together, and just grew closer over the years. She is definitely in her circle to best friend here. I would say she's tethers more towards best friend. I would. It's kind of hard. Like I said, it's kind of hard to rank her. But like I said, we've. I've definitely talked to her a lot more than I've talked to uh, Blitzful and Has Been and Corey. So she's kind of in that tier. Um, though we have been cooled off. We haven't like talked in, in, that much. But I've always had just an absolute fun time talking with her. Um, much like ha much like uh, Radio Has Been. Sometimes she could be a pain in my ass, but. That's the beauty of it, like I said, when it comes to friends, is that you have to uh, accept them for every flaw, even my own flaws. Um, I r really uh, just enjoy um, talking with her, and she shared many things with me. So yeah, I, it's, it, it's hard not to put her in best friend tier, consider how close we are. So uh, best friend tier, I'd say either best friend tier or high inner circle tier. She's kind of within that range, like very close. But yeah, that's where I'm, I'm comfortable putting her at. Next up, we have CL Dark Rose. <laughs> this one's a, this one's uh, wow. Okay, so with CL, um, we've dated. I've always had fun times with her. Um, when it comes to how we've interact, I've worked with her probably the most out of anybody. 
with the exception of maybe like Koi. So she uh, is definitely gonna be. Uh, she tethers. It, she would have tethered in between family to best friend. I guess if when we were dating, I probably would have put out the family tier, but. We've kind of cooled down. We haven't really interacted, honestly, that much. Actually, the last time I think I've interacted was uh, probably when we did Outlast 2. Um, we don't like talk as much as we used to, honestly. I think that's kind of both of our faults. We don't, we're kind of just busy with other things. But I'm going to put her in the best friend tier, I guess. That's kind of where she uh, sits now. So, yeah. Next up, we have Goddess Cresselia. Uh, Goddess Priscilla, I freaking love Goddess Priscilla. She was another person I, much like CL, Koi, and Zami, I watched when I was uh, still not doing much in the YouTube scene, and she's absolutely adorable. I've gotten to know her over the last four years. She's definitely best friend here, though. Again, as I said before, she's uh, we haven't we haven't talked much per se. So it's difficult sometimes where I where I have to tether her between inner circle to best friend, but considering our history overall, she's still in that best friend list. I still care very much for her. So uh, yeah, um, that's where I'm comfortable. Coy McLeod, <laughs> uh, yeah, he's definitely best friend here. Yeah, I've, I've gotten to know him the last four years and uh, um, he's great, you know, he's a pain in my ass, but as I said before, um, that's just, that's just how it goes. Sometimes your best friends could be, uh, a pain, <laughs> and, uh, but Koi's always been cool, um, he's had his own, um, things that he goes through that we talk to, and we constantly talk at times. Hey, again, we've been cooling off a little bit, but overall, I still consider him a great friend, so, yeah. That's where I put him. Uh, Piccolo Jr. Um, I've only worked with this person, I think, twice. I've had nothing but good experiences as far as, like, working with Piccolo Jr. It's like, what, a year ago? A uh, very cool individual. Just someone who I worked with and I was really cool with. And, uh, um, acquaintances? Yeah. it's about right, yeah. Um, someone I was just overall very cool with. Uh, Napa, Napa YT, um, fun dude, who I don't talk to anymore, because he just kind of, he kind of falls off the face of the earth, um, but overall was just a cool guy, he was a good friend, so I'm gonna put him in the friend tier, kind of like, along with Synetic, um, I just don't see him, that's kind of where it is, I, I don't see him that much, so I can't rank him any higher, because I don't see him. Uh, next up we have Xylophony. This was really, really early in my uh, YouTube career. I played Darth Vader in his, uh, I believe his Star Wars Minecraft stuff, which is still up by the way, back when I had my old channel. Um, yeah, he, he was cool to me. You know, he, I, I ain't got nothing to say. He, we, he did a cast call. I auditioned, I got the role. We just kind of took it from there and uh, we made some content. And yeah, we were just, uh, overall, he was a cool dude. He was cool to me. It was fun working with him. Um, whenever I watch his content, it's kind of like going to, it's like a trip down memory lane seeing that. So yeah, acquaintance. Uh, Khalifa Yu, um, I don't talk to that much, honestly. Um, um, was very, always cool to me, very nice to me. Uh, I just don't have an, I, I just someone I kind of just work with. You know, she's kind of doing her thing, I'm doing my thing, so. Uh, acquaintance. Um, Chi Chi Smash, I'm indifferent to. Uh, let's see. Uh, Prince Vegeta. Um, I actually just messaged him, uh, last night. Uh, yeah, cool dude. Always been nice to me. Always been cool to me. Uh, very cordial. Just overall, just been good to me. So, generally just been a good dude to me. Um, whenever I see him, we don't talk much. We barely talk at, at, at all um it's kind of like whenever i see him i say what's up he says what's up and it's kind of like that dynamic so i'm gonna put him in acquaintance here uh teacher and coach um i actually watch their content a lot um and we helped them out a little bit when it comes to, when it came to their 
uh, demonetization. Overall, they've been just cool people. I enjoyed their I enjoy their content. I still watch their content, and uh, yeah, I haven't really gotten to know them or anything like that. But overall, they've just been overall cool people. I enjoy their content, so uh, acquaintances. Yeah. Next up, we have Gur. Um, Gur falls into obscurity when it comes to him because uh, when I met him, like I said, with, with Gur, it's um, whenever I meet Gur, it's just you know easy to talk to him. Like we have lots of similar interests, but I don't talk to him all that much. Um, so he kind of tethers in between friend to inner circle. I'd say low inner circle. When it comes to girl, like I said, it was always fun working with them, and it's good to see them. I just we just don't see that much of each other, in in that sense, you know. So inner circle, I'd say uh, with girl, maybe hang out more. Uh, Malzar, I am indifferent to. Uh, saying Mimi, I am indifferent to. Let's see, we have. Um, Bardock, um, one of my longest and most well-known friends, um, he, he definitely, uh, he is definitely high, uh, high on the list. Like, he actually tethers, like I said, much like Seal, he tethers in the family to friends, uh, thing. I would say, um, oof, this is tough, um, I've talked to him more than anybody, like, even throughout the years, when it's on and off, we always still talk. So we we constantly are just you know chatting, relating, vibing. He's kind of like, honestly, he is kind of like a like a brother in, in that sense. He's um he he can be a pain in my ass too. I'm not gonna lie to you, Bardock can be a huge pain in my ass sometimes. But that's he's like he's like my headache that I have to deal with sometimes. And uh, yeah, I I. Yeah, I, I, I guess I'd put him in that uh, position right there, yeah. Um, put Koi up a little higher, but um, yeah, I'd say he's in that tier. Next up, we got Jazenu. This is a person I've been wanting to work with, but I've never had the opportunity to work with. But I've had crazy, con- I had fun conversations with him. He's just a cool dude, and uh, <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I. We, we never got the chance to work with each other. That's that's all, you know. We've never got that chance. I've always wanted to work with him, but he, he was in college. He, had, he was doing different things. He was working with other people, and we just never got to that point. But overall, I'd say uh, he's a cool dude, like, you know, acquaintance. Very cool dude. I'd love to work with him at some point. Um, next up, we have Kyle Mugan Kelly, who plays Nifty for me. Um... Yeah, she's she's cool. Um, I don't get to talk to her as much as I used to, but probably in the frontier list, I'd say. Um, just overall, good person, fun to work with. I have no issues with Kelly. She's just great. Um, whenever I get to talk to her, it's it's an absolute pleasure. Next up, we have Chinchalsku, and again, Chinchalsku I think is fun. In the beginning, our relationship was kind of rocky because we really didn't know each other. Um, and Chunny, I put you out there like Chunny. <laughs> Chunny kind of didn't. I had to. I had to go through a lot just to be friends with Chunny at times. I don't, I don't think he knows now, but we're cool now. But it's just like with Chunny, it's just um. Like, I used to want to be friends with him so badly. Um, back like 2017, 2018, but he was just addicted. He still is. He used to just a VR head i ended up becoming friends with his friends and not chunny i didn't really start be cool with chunny until you know year a couple of years later and um i i don't know i don't know how it happened we just somehow became friends we just kind of clicked and uh yeah it's kind of weird with chunny so i kind of put him in that uh friend uh friends list he's a cool dude it's fun whenever i see him it's just cool to see him great to work with funny guy funny funny guy um, <laughs> next up we have, um, Gotta Go Fast, or You versus Matt. Ooh, this one's a tough one, because 
at one point in time, I would have probably put him in uh, low end of inner circle, high end friend. Um, we talked a lot back in the day. We were really close. Um, but we kind of just work, you know, work is just kind of stagnated our friendship and uh he's kind of just doing his thing i'm kind of just doing my thing so uh we don't talk we have not talked in a while so uh, uh, uh it, it's honestly i this is conservatively if i were like unbiased he'd be acquaintances history wise i'd say he's friend it if I'm going like completely unbiased, he's uh, definitely in the acquaintance department now. But uh, if I would say through our history, he's a friend. But uh, yeah, that's kind of, we'll just put him at the high tier of acquaintance. I think that's fair. Next up, we have an otaku. She kind of falls in that same thing where she was once inner circle. But again, have not talked to her in a long time. Just that's just how that happens. Life happens, and uh, yeah, she's kind of in the high uh, high end of friend. Same too. I just think probably need to talk more and interact more before I can put her any higher than that. But that's just where she she lands. Uh, next up, we got um, Lily. Uh, Lily at one point, Lily was way high ranked um as far as where i'd put her but now she tethers in between she tethers in between family to uh best friend but i have not seen her in a long time we're actually now just rekindling and and talking again so i'll just put her at the low end of best friend uh one for her, i wouldn't even be on discord so you know that's just where i put her Next up, we have uh, Cotton um, Cottontail VA. She is fun. I I love talking to Cottontail VA whenever I can, but we kind of have not progressed any faster than acquaintances. Um, she's just a fun VA I work with and uh, I really enjoy working with. So uh, yeah, equa- high tier acquaintance. Um, Miss Moodified, same thing. Fantastic content creator enjoy working with her would love to hang out more with her but again she has her thing she's doing her thing i'm doing mine so she's yeah right at the high tier of acquaintance um emerald masters um i don't talk to that much but i do get to hang out with every now and then he's definitely at the end of friends um i'd say we need to probably chat more but he's doing his thing and i'm doing my thing and it just kind of don't progress any further than that next up we have ify um ify i talk to on a regular basis um she she's kind of tethering in between best friend to inner circle um i actually talk to ify more than uh gur more than corey more than halusa and even more than um, Blitzful, so she's kind of at the high tier of the inner circle. Um, she's damn near uh, in that best friend tier. Um, so yeah, that's where I'd put Ify, right, right there. Next up we have, uh, um, I'm just gonna call him, I'm just gonna call him Yamtris. I don't care if he gets mad at me, cause you know what? Uh, you should have changed your name. <laughs> <laughs> Ganvis, I think he calls himself now. Um, but yeah, he was fun. Um, I'd say low tier friend. Um, fun dude, cool dude. Um, I watch his content every now and then. He's uh, a fun dude, so I'm gonna put him <laughs> in the low tier friend. Um, probably need to hang out with him a lot more. But yeah, uh, gonna put uh, Ganvis if, that, if that's his name. I hope I said your name right. But yeah, that's why I, I put him. Uh, Crossy, again, she tethers in between inner circle to friend. Um, I'm kind of, I'm kind of going to put her in the friend tier. Um, if this was like two years ago, I'd probably put her in the inner circle, but we don't talk as much as we used to. But it's always fun to see her every now and then when I see her. Um, so, uh, friend tier, um, L.A.D. Taylor. 
cool dude. Um, we don't talk that much, but he was one of the first few guys who I got to work with, who I wanted to work with, and he was just a cool dude and cool to me. And I watch his content, he watches mine from time to time, so we're always just, everything's just cool with him. So, yeah, uh, Lady Taylor will be in the acquaintance. Um, Bumble Bunny or Tails and Sonic Pals. This one's difficult. Um, because she's much like, um, gotta go f fast. I have talked to her a little bit more. I've gotten to know her more. Um, we chat on Twitter from time to time. Um, she's, she tethers in between acquaintance and friend. Um, kind of like with Emerald. Yeah, she's more on that Emerald Masters kind of thing. I don't, like, we don't... I don't see her that often. I don't talk to her that often. But when I do, it's really nice. Um, we do talk about some some um, heavy stuff, like as being YouTubers and all this other stuff that we uh, that we have to go through. So she has been very hmm, she's been very nice to me. Like she's been really cool to me. So I kind of. I don't want to put her in acquaintance, but it's almost like that's where she should fit. But at the same time, I've definitely interacted with her a lot more. Like, <sighs> ah, that's a tough one. This is a tough one where I put her. Um, I, um, jeez, I haven't talked to her in a while. Uh, I think the last thing I did was wish her happy birthday, and, uh, yeah, we don't, like, we don't talk on the same level as I would say, uh, Crossy or Anitaku, or not to that level, but to be fair, I, I, have, I don't interact with them as much neither, so maybe I'll just put her at the low, low tier friend, and... That's begrudging, like I said, I would have put it at, I either put it at a high tier acquaintance or low tier friend, so, yeah, we'll just, I'll just leave it right there, I, I, I think I can confidently say low tier friend, um, and then, uh, Jester Bells, um, she has definitely, I mean, our friendship is more newer, um, I'm gonna put her in inner circle, I talk to her on a regular basis, um, a lot more than actually anybody except I, outside of Ify. I'm going to put her right in here. Yeah, that's about right. So, yeah, that's my list, guys. Um, as far as my tier list when it comes to the people I've worked with, um, talked to or met in terms of uh, where I stand with them at this point in time. Um, but, uh, yeah, this is just kind of where I'm at. And... Uh, if I should make another list, I probably will. If you guys enjoyed this video, hit that thumbs up, like, subscribe. We are on the road to 100K, so I'd appreciate that. Um, and if you think I should make another list, what tier list should it be? I would be very interested in hearing your thoughts and opinions. And uh, yeah, so that was my list, and I will see you all next time. Thank you so much. Take care and goodbye.